I did not make this decision based on politics. On a rainy afternoon in Lansing, Michigan, inside a jam-packed restaurant. The President of the United States um, reached out to a foreign president and asked for dirt on an American, on a political opponent. Just felt beyond the pale to me. Elissa Slotkin, rookie Democratic Congresswoman, makes her case for impeaching Donald Trump. And I do not do it um, with a light heart. And what I would ask everyone, um, whether you agree or disagree with the decision, is that we treat it with the seriousness that it deserves. Hers is a district that was Republican for a generation in a state won by Trump and key to him taking the White House in 2016. Last week, Slotkin co-wrote an essay on why she now supports the impeachment inquiry that helped send Democrats down that path. Today, gauging appetite for a process that could end the Trump presidency, she got thumbs up. It's a tiny sampling of America, but it's clear voters here mean it. I think the wounds are going to be deep, but if nothing else, we should all be able to agree that uh, it's, it's time to um, apply the law where they allow, the law should be applied. And I think that when we come out of this, um, uh, it, it's going to show who was on the right side of history. Still, Slotkin knows there are all kinds of Americans and Michigan voters who back Trump regardless. That can't be the new normal. That can't be okay to just get foreigners involved in our elections. Indeed, watching from out on the sidewalk, pro-Trump voices were adamant. We knew who he was when we sent him there. He won Michigan fair and square. This is Trump country here. And as Slotkin left, they underlined in this divided country, a fierce battle looms. Paul Hunter, CBC News, East Lansing, Michigan.